Oh, well, today we're going to do a test on using the external option of a firing system of a SLA battery, which looks like this. This one's a 12 volt, 8 amp. And we're going to see the difference instead of using the actual batteries that you can put in this, the regular 10 double A's. You're going to see the difference in terms of how fast these consumer igniters actually can work when you apply. There's a the Falcon you get from Quantum Fireworks Firing Systems at US. And here's the Talon 2. The white head on them instead of black. We're going to see how well these actually do work. If you're not using these regular AA batteries in these firing systems that most consumer fireworks people that do shows have, uh, if you have this option again of using an external battery here, <coughs> you can use the SLA battery and the rating on this system is up to 24 volts and 15 amps. So I found 12 volts, 8 amps right in the middle. Uh, you can uh, definitely see almost E match fast on these consumer igniters. So I'm going to set up this test and then uh, I will show you. Now here we go, we got the Talon 2 igniter hooked to some regular Visco fuse that would be on a consumer firework. There's your Falcon igniter. And we're going to do two sets of them just so you can see it twice. And here's the firing system. And connected to the SLA battery. Alright. First one is on A1. And that's going to be the Talon 2. Pressing button. Now, pretty fast. Now here's the Falcon. B1. Pressing now. Oops, I was hitting a different one. Ah, I was in A2. Alright, let's try that again. And then the last Falcon 2 